Lord Agamemnon. You must kill the sacrificial goat in the sacred pit marked by the stones. Only then can I determine what the gods demand of you. I cannot be bothered with such menial tasks. Have one of my nobles do the bloody deed. Ah, yes. I have interpreted the signs from the offering, sire. And the will of the gods is clear. You must travel to Sparta, Achaea, and Ithaca. In each city, the ruling king will ask for a specific favor. When you accept, each will then agree to join you in a war against Troy. They can provide ships and men, and each king must accompany you on this quest. The time is ripe for vengeance, my lord. My brother, Menelaus, is the king of Sparta. Achilles rules in Achaea, and the wily Odysseus is in Ithaca. I must convince all three to join in this great war. Agamemnon, my brother, I have waited long weeks to hear from you. I believe Troy and her king, Priam, must be punished for stealing my wife. The fabled towers of Priam City must be toppled. My most elite warriors are at your disposal. But you must promise me, my brother, that King Priam himself will be slain to avenge my honor. It is agreed. Priam shall die for his crime, yes. for I will forfeit my crown. I swear it. I and the other kings will provide you with our finest noble warriors. We trust you will use them wisely, brother. They cannot be replaced. My lord Agamemnon, it is good to see you. Of course I will join in this great quest against the city of Troy. My ships and my yes, finest you. warriors are yours. I ask only that you allow us to burn King Priam's palace to okay, the ground and plunder its riches. I accept your condition, oh, Achilles. I give you my word okay, my that King Priam's palace will be oh, destroyed and its riches divided among all the kings who follow me. We what must not set sail Lord without Lord King Odysseus, Lord. my lord. We will need his superb shipbuilding skills. Take one of my transports to reach his island kingdom, Ithaca. Imo. 
oiga esto. Well, if it isn't the ambitious High King Agamemnon, you must want me to join you on this vainglorious expedition to Troy. I, my men, and my superb transports are yours on one condition. Not a single temple within the walls of Troy must be harmed. What will you? Do you agree to this? Yes, my lord. You are the cleverest of all the kings of Greece, Odysseus. You know I cannot refuse your request. You have my word. The temples in Troy will remain standing. My primary concern is to return home safely. If the temples are destroyed, who knows what mayhem the gods will unleash on us. Now, we'd best be on our way. Our company is complete. Now for glory, for honor, and most of all, for revenge. Let us set sail for Troy. These wretched barbarians from Thessaly. What are they called? Dorians? They're becoming a real threat. I must station men along the border here, or in some way take steps to protect my land. Oh, 
Podcast.
This beach which lies before the fabled city of Troy is where the Greeks will rally before the battle. All the kings must meet here when they land. Thank you. 
traseros. At last, Ahoy! the glittering towers of Troy. We must make certain our camp is a safe distance from those deadly towers.
The citizens of Troy repair the defenses as quickly as we destroy them. We may have undertaken a task more difficult than we imagined, my lord. These Trojan walls are unimaginably thick, and those towers can never be taken by direct assault. I suggest that we confer with Achilles and Menelaus. All the kings of Greece are present. So let me ask, who of you? can think of a way to breach the city's defenses. I have an idea, but we will need the help of Athena to carry it out. On the nearby peninsula, called Chersonesus, there is a grotto sacred to Athena. We must build a temple near that grotto and pray for a divine means to pass through the gates. Grotto is sacred to Athena. She will not tolerate the desecration of anything in or around it. Blessed Athena, our prayers have been answered. On the beach before Troy, she has provided us with a magnificent siege engine, which shall be called the Trojan Horse. Breathtaking. Now, what do we do with it? Simple, my friend. We hide our finest soldiers inside the belly of the wooden beast 
which we bring up to the gates of Troy. Once the rest of our army retreats from the gate, the foolish Trojans will bring our gift within their walls. Then our men can emerge, kill King Priam, and the city will be ours. I see. Let it be done exactly as you say. Gates of Troy have opened to accept the Greeks' gift. The Greeks have abandoned the siege and left a magnificent offering. Spread the word, the city of Troy has triumphed. It is time to leave the horse and slaughter the Trojans as they sleep. Treacherous Greeks, the gift was a ruse. To yes, arms, master. Trojans, we are invaded. Yes, master. Okay, my lord. Watch the soldiers, Agamemnon. They are desecrating the Trojan temples. If any temple is destroyed, the fury of the gods will be unleashed against us. Aphrodite, goddess of love, has intervened and saved the life of Helen. She stands reunited with her husband, Menelaus, on the beach before Troy. Oh, my husband, my king, will you consent to take me back? Beloved wife, it is clear the gods have been playing a deadly game with us. I do not blame you for their actions. Troy has fallen. King Priam is dead. Agamemnon has honorably kept the promises he made to his fellow kings. The tale of the Trojan War shall not soon be forgotten. <laughs> 